Hello and welcome to my natural hair journey. So just to jump into it, um, this is me when I was a baby, uh, fresh out the womb, born with very, you know, thick hair. I would wear my hair in little puffs, um, started doing little barrettes, beads, um, things like that. Typical kid stuff. Only picture I have from middle school um, with my hair was looking very fried and just not very straightened. <laughs> um, but that trend pretty much continued on through high school. I pretty much wore my hair and bangs, um, you know, clipped back, uh, parted to the side, um, pretty much just how my hair looked. It didn't really look bad necessarily, but I definitely noticed that my, um, the hair in the front of my head towards the sides um, were pretty much damaged. Um, very dry, very hard straighten, just not very good, but the top front part of my hair where my bangs are were always very healthy um, the front part of my head top part of my hair it's kind of where the curl is more loose um, but for the most part that's just how I, I wore my hair uh, bangs to the side would straighten my hair every single day to bump the ends or curl my bangs um, I didn't really have a routine I deep condition maybe once every six months I had no hair routine at all um, I'd straighten my hair every single day. I permed my hair maybe once or twice a year. Um, definitely s towards the end of high school, um, I did highlight my hair and I think I tried a keratin treatment somewhere in here um, that a friend's mom did. Shout out to her. She did a very good job. It looked very good, but I just decided to cut my hair towards the end of high school. Maybe my senior junior hair year, I cut my hair in a bob and um, just started working it from there. I was actually kind of sort of transitioning. Um, yes, Modern Warfare 3, great game. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's just how I wore my hair. Again, no hair routine <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah, I'd been watching a couple videos um, on YouTube and stuff, started hearing about natural hair and decided that I wanted to embrace my texture. Um, I can't say I was, was one of those people who didn't understand that when I cut my hair, uh, that I wasn't gonna get the texture I expected. I 100% knew what my natural hair texture was. Um, I had gone, you know, a year without a perm before. I knew my hair had, you know, uh, you know, a spirally S curl pattern. Definitely a 3C, 4A pattern. I already knew. Um, but yeah. So towards here, I just started ruining my hair with straightening. I don't know why I decided to go so overboard with it, but I think. I did not enjoy my short hair at first. I really like short hair at this point. It would totally big chop my hair and a really cute, maybe tapered look at this point. But I guess back then I really was just excited to get length and figure, great, my hair is back to where it originally started at um, before I big chop. So I'm just gonna go from here. And my hair was extremely heat damaged and very, and my curls were definitely struggling. There was. <laughs> nothing in my opinion cute about the curls that I had at this point um, I did start doing you know uh, braids uh, braid outs buns things like that but <laughs> it was definitely not um, definitely not okay with how my curls were looking I have no idea what I was thinking wearing it for some reason I don't know why I thought it was a good idea but yeah this is my hair um, again the heat damage I was straightening it um, pretty much whenever I felt like it I was in school at the time, completely, you know, moved out, just kind of living my life. <laughs> so I don't know, nobody was, I was kind of unhinged. I was not watching YouTube, was not watching natural hair videos. I was just kind of out here, just straightening my hair and do whatever I want with my curls. And then was not really confused why my hair wasn't curling back, but pretty much did not know too much about heat damage or heat protecting and things like that. But um, yeah. Eventually, um, I did start cutting out the heat damage. You can't tell in these pictures, but I actually had a piece on the sides where I just completely just cut out a lot of the straightness of it um, and was just hiding it in the rest of my curls. But yeah, just I was mostly doing twist outs. I started watching YouTube at this point, so I did some protein treatments and learned about twist outs, braid outs. Um, can't really recall any signature products I used during during this time. I do know that, um, you know, that's just a quick little link check there that I did. Um, my curls were braided back to that. Not completely damaged, but not that cute. Um, you can't tell, but the side of my hair is braided there. The heat damage in the front was bad, so I decided to cut bangs in my hair so that when my hair went back to curly, this would be where the healthy part was. Um, and again, my hair looked good. It was shiny. Um, 
didn't look unhealthy the one thing in all of this is that my hair just kept growing i did not experience a lot of breakage with the heat damage i just ruined my curl pattern <laughs> that is pretty much um my experience with heat is that it doesn't make my hair break off the damage it was not dry it was not breaking it was just ruining my curls which i very much want it back at this point um so yeah this part um the bangs that i had cut i was mostly able to brush back in ponytails or just braid the front um this is kind of where i was kind of done with the heat that was the last time cutting my um not the last time straightening my hair but i didn't straighten my hair until the end of the year again my curls were suffering straighten my hair again on my birthday right there in that picture um and then i graduated uh, no graduation pics yet i might add them in here don't know but um if i do i'll put it up on the screen but um yeah so this is where um i straightened my hair um after i had bleached it it was like a graduation present i had been thinking about ombre for a very long time so i got the uh, garnier ombre kit um and then here you know just pretty much going back to what i was doing before i think i cut out a lot of damage here but those are my ombre um natural hair curls didn't look that bad if that's what you're into was not up to my standards because i knew that the texture that grew out of my scalp did not look like that like there's a lot of people who will say oh my curls aren't heat damaged they're still a curl that doesn't really cut it for me i wanted my curl i didn't want this curl that i had ruined because i for some reason could not stay from flat on so it doesn't look that bad here in some people's opinion but to me it does look bad those are some braid twist cornrows i did for a crochet that failed so i decided to straighten my hair instead of wearing straight crochet hair and that was the last time i straightened my hair in 2017 and I did not straighten my hair again until a very long time afterwards, but I did do a mini chop. My curls definitely look healthier. The front side parts of my hair is still short. Um, a lot of the curls in the front were definitely bleached, frizzy, couldn't really hold a curl pattern. Um, tried some curly bangs here. Some people may not, again, some people may not think that the curls look that bad, but to me, I just felt them and just knew um, these were just pineapple type things with twist outs that I had done. Um, another twist out wash and go ish. Again, the bleach pieces may look fine to some people, but they were definitely damaged. Um, I think I did a mini chop in between here. Um, started figuring out shingling, started getting down wash and goes. Um, this was definitely one that I, a mini chop that I documented. This was right after my curls definitely look fresh. Um, my hair was a lot shorter, I would say it was like a curly bob at this point, and I loved it. I would definitely, um, as I continue to cut out the bleach, I will probably have another curly bob here in probably maybe the next year or so, not sure. Trying not to cut my hair as much, I just want to get the damaged pieces out and not just cut the hair because it's colored. Um, not all of it is damaged, just the ends were, but yep. This is my hair after the chop, um, and my, my hair felt bad, better, the curls were defining better in the wash and go, still frizzy in the front, which I did um, take care of, experimented with braids here, I thought they were super cute, I did them myself, they're not great, but I love them, we'll do them again. Um, yep, and then hair is just kind of looking good, this is kind of where I was at, um, looking good, looking healthy, definitely happy with how my curls were looking. Um, at some point in all of this though, I kind of felt like I wanted to change up a little bit. And um, that's when that that's that's when I did it. Yep, I, I, I straightened it. Did not look bad, did not straighten it on, on high heat. Um, was definitely lengthwise where I thought it was going to be. And this is where we're at today. This was maybe a week after I'd washed it. Curls popped back. And um, this is kind of where I'm starting from. So, um... Hope you guys liked my journey. Hope you guys continue to watch and subscribe for more. Thanks.